Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home Though I roam, sure my heart never left her O'er the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me Oh I'm coming back home to Ireland Get me the fault to 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we're going over to the west of Ireland to a seascape. And before I go there, I want to read a few more emails I have. And here I have from Drogheda. I have, I am very impressed with your method of painting. I enjoy the Irish Paint Magic series on TG Car. And is uh, Dennis Doherty from Drogheda. And also from Listowel in County Kerry, David Willis, Irish Paint Magic. A joy and inspiration to watch, huge encouragement to us retired persons to have a go. Hope Mr. Willis and T.G. Cahar have many, many more series. And I have a lovely, lovely uh, letter from Seven Sandy Fort uh, Hall Close in Stepaside, County Dublin. And it says, Dear David Willis, my granddad Ray Alexander wrote to you and did not receive a reply yet. My granddad is 77 years of age, and I am eight years of age. And we both love your show. We were hoping you would paint the Martello Tower, Sea Pine County, Dublin. We think it would make a really nice subject. Uh, thank you for taking the time to read this letter. Uh, I would love if you would say hi to me and my granddad on your show. And that comes from Ella Gaynor. Ella, hi, how are you? And just to say, my apologies, uh, I didn't get the letter from your granddad, but I got it from you, and when I will get time, I will answer you personally. So, hi again. So, that's that for now. I want you to come with me now, right over here to 24 by 18 canvas, dry as usual, covered with black gesso over part of it, and nothing over the other, but the canvas is already double primed anyway. So, straight away, I'm going to go into liquid clear and cover all this area. I love painting these seascapes and there's so many of them everywhere. We are an island country and they're everywhere, all over our little island. It's a little bit tough putting this on, but when it's on then it'll make your life very, very easy. Now straight into liquid white. With all the mediums, but you will save a fortune on paint. Save a fortune on paint when, um, when you use the mediums. And that's what you want to do. Save your money. Now, straight away, I'm going to go in with the big brush into blue and black. Black first, anyway. Go into black. There's black. Lovely, warm black. It's so warm. Look at it, look. There's, there's red in it, I'd say. Lovely colour for Ireland is black. And I know what you're saying there, fella. Would you ever shut up about the black? Well, I can't because it's a beautiful black. It's made for Ireland. Look at it, look. Down we go. Down we go, down for the horizon. As you go down, let it go lighter and lighter as you go down. Lighter and lighter, down to the horizon. And there. So now I'm going to go into the white, titanium white, with the one inch brush. And I'm going to go up here, again, just tapping in, as I did before, creating cloud formation. By just tapping in now. Don't go to any bother whatsoever. And don't paint, do not paint, just tap. And that'll bring a, sh uh, a shadow in there just there under that, without going to any trouble. And there, shadow. And one layer will push the other back. And every time you come off, wipe the old brush. Here we are, another one there, but make sure that you mind the one above it. So it comes down in layers. And now down into the dark area again. And wipe your brush. And here you go for the last layer, and I'm saying, for God's sake, will you go away from it? Down onto the horizon there. Grand, grand. Two inch brush, right across the whole lot. 
and ask the cloud to sit down. Please sit down, Mr. Cloud. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely cloud formations all along the west coast. Absolutely beautiful, especially if you're more north, you go up around Sligo, Donegal. Other places for the clouds. Big bellows of clouds. That's where uh, Paul Henry used to do all his painting in Ackill. And up in Duny, or way up in Donegal. Mostly Ackill. He was, but he used to get all lovely cloud formations and it took me years to find out how he done it. But I had to go up myself up to, to Donegal and see. Now, a little bit of white. Not much. Bit of blue. Not much. And a bit of black. Black, blue, and white. And not, not a whole lot of paint. Don't need a whole lot of paint. No, it's a kind of a smoky blue, I suppose, you could call it. No, that'll be fine. Right? That's a grand blue. I would swear I made it myself. It's a lovely blue. Now, I'm just going to go in here with a, a little bit of white as a divider here, along here, and along there. Very little uh, paint now necessary here at all, because the mediums are all, already on there. So I'll uh, go into that blue, and way out there, there's a headland, comes right down there, and it goes back into nothing, back in there. No? I'm going to get a little bit of black out here. The sea comes along there. All along. All along. I'm using now the filbert brush here. And fill all that in there. Fill all that in. Just with the black on its own. Do fine. Going to stay very, very Irish today, don't we are. Not a whole lot of colour. Filling it all in with the black. And remember now that that black is going into, um, it's going into the liquid clear, so we needn't be too worried about it. It's not just going up in a dry canvas. You saw me putting on the liquid clear. And again now, all in and all scrubbed in there, lovely, lovely. I'm going out to the um, fan brush, number four fan brush, with titanium white, and I'm just going to push that back a little bit there, that C. Just get a little bit of color into it. Get back there, thank you very much. Thank you. And now I get, I'll just wash a brush here. Now I seem to have too many brushes going now at the moment. Just wash one of them. And go back to the blue, this blue that was out here. And I got to pull right in front of that, right there, to create, just to push that horizon back outside with a little bit of uh, liquid white. I'm just going to pull right in front of that to push it back. And I come right out here and create a few little horses outside. Not white horses, I suppose, not a big wind, but just a little breakers, a little breakers, not much. They wouldn't be white horses. You want a four, six, four, eight to get the white horses. I'm going to Come again with that blue, and I'm going to come up here. Cyan and blue. There, I picked up a bit of a green, but it doesn't matter. Up and sorry, I'm talking to myself here. Making that a little bit stronger. I've just added a little bit of a Van Dyke brown. Over she comes, down into the sea. 
down into the sea. Yeah. And let it run out there. And again now, I'm just going to soften that back in there to form over and down, over and down, over, down with the lay of the land, down. I'm back now with just Van Dyke Brown on its own here. Let that run out there. Now, that's a separator there. I'm worried about that now for now, I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to go in again now with a little bit of white and pull it right in front of that. There. Just to push that headland back a little bit. And with the knife and a little bit of liquid white, I'm just going to push that back. Make that sit down. Sit down there, please, for me. Thank you. Sit down there. Thank you. Now, that's fine. Now I'm going to go into pure Van Dyke Brown and so on. Yeah, fill all that in. Fill it all in with Van Dyke Brown. And just pushes the other layer back a little bit, all right? Fill it all in. Right down. Now, I'm going to go to the knife with Van Dyke Brown here. There's a cliff face there, I want it to be bold. Really bold. All along. Vertical strokes now here. All vertical strokes. And I'm using the wide edge of the knife. Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home. Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home. A little bit of yellow ochre. Come along there. On the knife, knife only, yellow ochre. A bit of yellow ochre and cyan. About half and half. I'm going to catch that, hold some of it down very gently, very gently. But coming closer now, there'll be a lot more color in this. Caress it very gently. Talk to it. Come on now, come on now. And I'm going to go for cyana on its own. Cyana. Go. Up there. Now, down you come. Hanging down over there, be careful. You don't fall out over those things. Right down there. Don't kill all the darks now. Don't kill the darks. And let that run in there. Right in under the cliff face there. Now, I'm going to pull that down a little bit. A little bit along here. Come on down. Thank you. Come on, come on, thank you, down on there, that's fine, go across it, soften it down, thank you. Now, 
going to the, the two inch brush and I'm going for yellow ochre on along there. Dark cyana. A lot of cyana now. Good bit of cyana there. More cyana and Van Dyke Brown. The last one is Van Dyke Brown here alongside of me. So it'll taper from the dark out. Going to wash the brush into the liquid down to this white spirit. Into, shake it in down into this bucket. And there's a bar in the bucket. Hit it off the bar. Got a grill. Some buckets have grills. And that will shape up your brush. And now I'm going to go right up to um, titanium white. I've got to pull all that along there. Right along it. Right along it. And then I go gently across the whole lot. Gently across. Get a shimmer. A shimmer on the beach. Make it look wet. That's what you're after. Wet. A witness. Back to the knife. And I've got to look at my clock. I'm okay. I'm okay. In under the, the cliff face here, I need to get it to sit down. Sit down there, Mr. Cliff Face, for me. Thank you. Right under that. I'm going to be hard boiled here under all these lights. <laughs> Going to be like a hard boiled egg. Right? This is a magnificent area all along the west coast of Ireland. Actually, the whole coast down in West Cork. I only discovered West Cork six or eight years ago. I was always passing the main roads. And I decided to go off the main roads down and around Skull and everywhere. Beautiful areas. All down there. All these lines now are horizontal. I'm making sure that they're all horizontal. They must sit down because water will take its own level anyway. So be careful of it, all right? Water always takes its own level. It can be up and it can be down, but it will always take its own level when it calms down. And always respect the water. Always, if you are children, be careful when you go in. And if you're adults, make sure you know the area if you're going for a swim. I'm going into black. Straight away with black. All along there. All along. I need to show the camera the mixing of this paint. I have titanium white and liquid white. About half, half and half. In other words, it, instead of I thinning out this paint with white spirit, I can thin it out with the liquid white. Same thing, same thing. What makes my life much easier. So the brush now is pretty well loaded. Lots of paint on the brush. Okay, so come up onto the canvas. And I gotta push this brush up against itself. Along here, because the old waves will come onto the, 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 the beach, they break on there, and you must make the knives. It's no good unless you make the knives because the paint will jump off of the brush then. Make sure they're cock knives now, that's the only thing. All along. And that's fine. Get him to sit down then, onto the beach. Ask him to sit down. Sit down there, Mr. Wave. Thank you. Thank you. Watch the darks. Don't kill the darks. This is the titanium white, the thick one. Pull it out. 
flat, cut across it, and get that roll of paint right up in the knife. I can see it on the monitor, it's a very good shot. Get that roll of paint to come on up here. And you can just catch that and force it off the back of the knife to go off. Don't, you won't damage the canvas, take your time. Right along there, right along there. So I get my fan brush now and I'm gonna pull that back to meet the waves coming in. Try not to um, try not to touch the outside, if you can, of the wave here, this front of it, because um, it will look better if you don't, all right? And that will come out there to meet that, and that comes in to meet that. Okay, so I'm gonna ask the cameras to come a bit close because I have um, a couple of boys bringing a cork off the beach here, so I'm just gonna come in here now and catch the old contact paper and coax it all off and pull it down. And there's a few boys walking on the beach with a cork, bringing it in. An old traditional boat used. Very, very safe boat for fishing, a cork. And um, it's a very, very safe boat. And you can see them up around Kinvaria, they're all over Ireland, down around the west coast, they're down, down that side. And up along the west of Ireland in, in uh, Mayo, Galway and Mayo and everything, loads of corks. And they, they're, they're made up of, um, I'm just going to go in here. They made up a canvas and that canvas is tarred and it makes them waterproof. I don't know, I suppose, I, you see them in regattas now, they raced them and all that. That's, that was the way the old traditional corks were made. And um, I don't know, maybe they're five or less ones, I really don't know, but you can't beat the old traditional one. They fed many a family at sea. They brought turf out to the islands. There was no turf on the islands and they traded and they said many an animal was brought out on the sheep or whatever, and corks. But uh, they were great for um, the people out on the islands off the west coast. Now I'm going to go back in here to um, the black brush, into the black, and I'm going to pull all that down. Dum, zump, 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 down, just a reflection of the wet sand down there, and what's up there will be actually down there, look, see that, down there, and you'll be near enough at that, now don't go 100% after it, because uh, I'm just going to get a clean brush now, and coax that down, and go across it very, very gentle. Very gentle, whisper to it. Sit down on the reflection. And to go down into the wet sand for you. With your knife. And you go in under that now again and get a few water lines there under the boys and the cork. They'd lift it and they'd bring it away up from the tide after they're fishing so that the high tide wouldn't catch it, and they wanted it again the following day or the following morning or whatever. A small break for a change instead of giving out about him. I'm sure he'll allow me to, uh, to go another minute or two. So I'll do that. Now I'm going to get a bit of this, I suppose. And a bit of cyanide. And a bit of yellow ochre. All together, just to make a light colour. Just a light colour. Yeah, he's talking to me again. It's okay. It's okay. He's not bad. <laughs> I didn't say he was good either, but he's not bad. Now, I'm going to get the uh, this brush here, the filbert brush, double load it, double load it. Two sides now are dark. And now I'm going to go into the one. So there's one side is dark, the other side is light. Dark and light. So I want you to come up here. And we put a few stones along the beach there by just twisting the brush. I twist the brush like so and ask, I can ask them the, 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 the stones to jump off. Thank you, thank you. 
And I don't want to overdo it now, but I'm going to leave a go at that. But if you do that, make sure that you go in under them with the fan brush. Go in under them with the fan brush. And then that will make them sit down. And then with a little bit of uh, liquid white on its own will do you. Go in under those as well and they'll sit down. Then if you pull a little water line in front of them, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. So, until we meet again, God Amila Mahagat Shlan Mas, and God bless you all, my friends. Ireland, my Ireland, oh I'm coming home. Though I roam, sure my heart never left her. Oh, the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me.